before we start, there is some combat involved later, and only melee will work. To begin the quest, head to the area located here on the map. Speak to Sir Tiffy in Falador Park and choose the chat options on screen. Next, head to the docks in Witch Haven, located here on the map. And speak to Colonel Jack O'Neill, or O'Neill as we'll call him moving forward. And choose the third, then the fourth chat option. Now, just southwest, you will find Mayor Hobb. Speak to him and choose the chat options on screen. After the conversation, walk out of the building and you will be contacted via your command orb. After the conversation, go ahead and talk to the monk inside of the church and choose the fourth chat option. Then speak to Holgard just north beside the boat. Then speak to O'Neill on the dock once again. Choose the fourth chat option. Next, climb down the ruins just southwest of the mayor's building. Push the wall directly to your east and enter. Once you're in the next room, you'll find a shortcut right against the wall. If you can take the shortcut, if you have the agility level, then do so and continue along the path. If you don't, then just continue along the path the long way. You can ignore any monsters. Once you reach the large door, go ahead and attempt to open it. After you fail, right click your comm orb and hit contact. After that, go ahead and pick up the dead sea slug on the floor. In this clip, I already picked it up, but go ahead and do so on your side. You will now have to make your way to the outpost just northwest of Ardi. Speak to Joral and choose the second chat option. After the conversation, you'll be contacted via the comm orb once again. Next, head back to O'Neill in the Witch Haven Dock.
head towards the church to start a cutscene. Then speak to the priest inside the church. Choose a second chat option. Next, head back into the mayor's building and search his desk. You will find a page. Next, speak to Ezekiel Lovecraft in the fishing shop to your east. Choose the fourth chat option. Then speak to O'Neill just north on the docks. Attempt to use the swamp paste on the fragments, and you'll be stopped via the comm orb. You'll now have to speak to Bailey in the fishing platform. To get there, speak to Jeb just here west. Then head west once you're inside the fishing platform. You will receive some sea slug glue. Go ahead and use this on your fragments. You will now have to set three individual pieces together to form this image here on screen. You can use the controls at the bottom right to show and to select them. It's one of those things where you just kinda kinda have to play with it to find out how it works. Don't forget one of the images or two might need a flip. So you can pause the video here and use this picture as a reference. Once complete, you could exit the platform if you wish. Go ahead and withdraw some runescence from your pouch or wicked hood. And if you right click your pages, you will notice there is a shape options. It should be five in total between the three runes. Go ahead and craft the five different shapes. The shapes should be earth, air, fire, water, and mind. You will have to go to each individual altar and use the blank shapes on their respective altar. Now while you shape these runes, there is a chance that you might fail and lose the shape. For this reason, go ahead and take extra rune essence within your pouch. Here on screen is a quick summary. You can pause the video and continue once they're all shaped and created. Once the shapes are completed, head back down into the ruins just southwest of Witchhaven. Face the large stone door once again. And use your runes on said door. Go ahead and slay the slug prince.
Once the fight is over, you'll be teleported back to the Faldor Park. Go ahead and speak to Sir Tiffy and choose the first chat option. And quest complete.